This lesson will explain how to set up depreciating assets in PowerCharge and how to set up the depreciation transactions and what the meaning of the values are on the balance sheet and on the income and expense statement. The default chart of accounts already includes the accumulated depreciation for the buildings, vehicles, and equipment, so we will need to create the asset accounts for the church van and the sound system. The accounts are added in Fund Accounting Setup under Maintain Chart of Accounts. We'll first add the church van account by clicking on the Add tab. The asset account for the church van will be a detail asset account. After locating the group account for vehicles, it makes sense to assign the church van the new account number 1710 and a level 5 to match the levels of the existing accounts. We can assign this account to the general fund and click Finish to create this account. Next we can add the account for the church sound system. The church sound system will also be a detail asset account. The church sound system can be added under the group account for equipment, so we'll give the account number 1810 and make it a level 5 account. And we will attach this account to the general fund and click Finish to create the account. Next we will go to Fund Accounting Enter Transactions to enter values for these accounts that we just created. The first transaction is for the purchase of the church van for $12,000. The money comes out of checking and into the asset account that we set up for the church van. Next we will make the entry for the first year depreciation on the van. We will use a five-year straight line depreciation, so we divide 12000 by five to get $2,400. The two accounts that are affected are the asset account for accumulated depreciation and the expense account for vehicle depreciation. This entry will be made every year for five years. Next, we will make the entry for the purchase of the church sound system. We will use the checking account and the asset account that we created for the sound system. For the depreciation on the sound system, we will use a straight line 10-year depreciation or $850 a year. The credit will be to the asset account for accumulated depreciation of equipment and the debit will be to the expense account for equipment depreciation. The balance sheet shows the purchase price of the church van at $12,000 and the first year depreciation at $2,400. So the price of the church van on the books, so to speak, is $9,600 for the first year. The purchase price of the sound system was $8,500, and the first year depreciation on the sound system was $850. So the value of the sound system on the books is $7,650. The accumulated depreciation entry will always be a negative number, and it will increase each year as your assets depreciate. Depreciation also shows up on the income and expense report as an expense. In fact, it is a non-cash expense in that no money has left your checking account for depreciation. This money would be added back in for reports such as sources and uses of cash because although this is an expense, it is not a use of cash. It is, however, an expense to the corporation in the sense that $3,250 has evaporated away into depreciation.